Hey, what's up YouTube? So I've got a, a little vid here that I'm putting together on solar flares. And uh, you guys should know me by now. I try to uh, check everybody, keep everybody level-headed, and uh, you know, play devil's advocate when I can and whatnot. And you know, there's a lot of talk floating around uh, and a, a lot of people on YouTube are p paying really close attention to the sun, which is great. But you know, I just wanna put everybody in perspective and I'm putting this video up so that you guys can actually use this as a, uh, a base comparison. So the video that you're looking at on the screen right now is the largest uh, solar flare on record. And if you take a look in the lower left corner, you're going to see the date, which is uh, 2003. And this starts at, let's see starts in October, those are like the days and, and the hours going by really quick there. Starts October, I think like 18th, and then it ends in, in early November. Now the actual, um, the, the largest solar flare on record was, uh, I'm pretty sure it was the fourth. Uh, yes, it was November 4th. And you'll see it if you, you get towards the end of the video there. You'll you'll see like this this crazy flare up for like a split second, and I you know assume that's it. Um, in any case, like I said, you can you can hold on to this video, grab it, and whenever you're watching the Soho or whenever you see other videos floating around, you know just visually compare it to this. And if it's way bigger than this, okay, Houston, we have a problem. But if it pales in comparison, and the people are hyping their video, you know, I really wouldn't put too too much weight in it. Um, just to give you some other general background, your solar flares or are, are categorized in three classes: uh, letter C, letter M, and letter X. C is the smallest, M is uh, medium sized, and X is the biggest. Now, these classifications all have to do with math. There's all sorts of math that, that backs up the uh, intensity of the X-ray radiation, and each of these letters can be followed by a number. This solar flare that you're looking at, again, uh, from what I understand, is the largest on record. They originally was classified as an X-20, but they did some more research and they realized that their, the storm was so strong, it, it sort of screwed up some radio interference in the atmosphere, and that made their measuring uh, a little bit inaccurate. So this flare has actually been upgraded to somewhere between an X-34 and an X-48. Uh, and again, f from what my research, this is the strongest on record. So about X48 is seems to be you know about the maximum. Um, now there's some stuff floating around online that there's like a Y classification, which obviously would be greater than the X, but I haven't been able to confirm that anywhere. So I think that's just sort of uh, individuals kind of speculating. Maybe the math supports it. You know, I, I don't know. Um, the other thing is, I will mention that uh, in my research, we have really big uh, X events pretty often. Um, there's a, a couple that I'll rattle off here. August 1989, there was a big X-20 event. And then there was a famous one, March 6, 1989, that actually knocked out a bunch of uh, Canadian infrastructure. Uh, in 2001, there was another really big X-20 and in 2003, there was uh, two back-to-back, -back, an X-17 and an X-10. Um, there's other ones that, that I just, you know, I didn't put in there. And I'm sure if you were to actually re research this thoroughly, you'd see, like, if not every year, certainly every couple of years, every few years, there's some, some big stuff. So that's really nothing out of the ordinary. Um, the last thing that I want to point out on this video if I can find it here, let's see, it's somewhere up here. Okay, if you start it off and you get to, bear with me here for a second, because I know it's in the beginning somewhere. Let's see if I can fast forward a little bit here. Okay, here we go. If you get to October 23rd, and you're going to see uh, what looks like a star or a, a planet or a meteor or whatever, glowing it comes in from the the top right and it goes across to the left um, I'm gonna guess that that's Venus because lately I've heard people talking about seeing Venus floating around near the Sun but the thing that I'm pointing out is like look this is 2003 and we're seeing this bright glowing object 
flying by the sun. So all these videos that I see out lately that are like, oh my god, look, there's something floating near the sun and it's bright and it's shining and it's doing its thing. Uh, again, I'm not an astronomer, but I have a feeling that that stuff happens all the time. And if you go back and you look at the video stuff, you know, you'll probably confirm that. So that's it. Uh, again, I, I hope you guys hang on to this vid and, and use it as a base comparison uh, on any future sun videos that you see. And I actually have uh, some more video that I collected that maybe I'll, I'll just throw up just so you guys can take a look at it. It's kind of interesting. And uh, that's it. Later, YouTube.